Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Littering Lamb today. I'm doing the Anything But Books tag. This tag was created by Redor Rot. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna put the original creator's link in the down bar, so you should definitely go check out that video because it was really good. I really enjoyed watching it. So this book tag has been making the rounds on booktube and I thought I'd join in because if you guys have been watching my channel lately or like the last year or so, I've been trying to incorporate more lifestyle um, videos, I guess, into my channel, doing like favorites and um, stuff along the lines of that and decluttering. So I thought this would be very fun to do because, you know, it's a tag that technically this is my book day, but you know, it incorporates other stuff I love. So um, here are the questions. I'm just reading it off YouTube. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. And I have my notebook where I put my answers. So name a cartoon that you love. So a cartoon that I love is actually Princess Cece and Cece is spelled S-I-S-S-I. -S -S -I. This was actually a cartoon that I believe was, it was like a Canadian France kind of joint project and it aired in Canada when I was very young like I was six years old so 2001 and um I used to watch it every afternoon it's like a 52 part like little half an hour it's like soap opera of Princess Cece and it's based off of a real story but it's very manipulated to be more child friendly and um it was such a good story and I actually recently rewatched it a few years ago and it's still so good I really wish they had an English version on DVD but unfortunately it's only available in like French with no subtitles in English so sadness about that but if you guys watch that let's discuss and that theme song if, if you if anything you take away from this look up the theme song see how dramatic that was but it's still such a good song I really want that song not available anywhere nobody knows the title shame um two what is your favorite song right now so right now my favorite song is actually Chateau by Black Bear it's on his new album Digital Drug Lord and that is one that I've been obsessed with because to me, stylistically, it's the closest to Flirt Right Back, which is one of his songs off his EP, Cashmere News. And I actually have an all-time favorite song, so I thought I'd mention that too, and it's Straight to My Heart by Anthony Costa. Um, number three, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? So basically, if I'm not reading and I have spare time, if I'm not reading or watching TV, I'm listening to podcasts. Podcasts are a very big part of my life. I started getting into them about four years ago, more so. Like, I was always kind of into them, but I got really addicted, especially when I got my phone because, you know, the podcast app, that kind of thing. And basically, I play, like, I have a few, like, five games that I kind of rotate, like, every time I'm feeling like them. Like, I'll play one for, like, three months, and I'll rotate to another one, and I listen to my podcast, and I play those games. And I do that most evenings, actually, before I go to sleep because I feel like it just calms me down, and I really... Just love playing like these kind of puzzle type games and right now I'm playing 10 10 exclamation point on the end it's like a little like block game it's kind of like Tetris but you're arranging the blocks um, to create columns that disappear and that's what I've been really obsessed with for what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by so I love to go on car rides and me and my best friend actually go on car rides um, and basically we listen to music really loud and we scream sing the songs like we're yelling so loud and we have like little like dances and stuff obviously she's not dancing to dancing because you know driving but I can dance and it just because I'm more like I feel like quiet and soft-spoken in real life like to people that don't know me super well or like strangers that that might be surprising but I actually lost like I had a cold for a while and I actually lost my voice first then got a cold and my throat was sore and I had my voice lost so it's still kind of gone again, so it just keeps coming back. So number five is what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? This can do with book this can um, do with books, I guess. So number five, which is that question. So I like to know every little thing about a TV show. As soon as I finish a TV show on the Wikipedia page and look in Google News, I want to know every single thing. And if there's books about it, I really want to read those books. And one that I'm watching right now that I'm super excited to finish because I really want to look up the Wikipedia page is the older Dallas from 1978. Their Wikipedia page is ginormous and like I just want to read it because it's obviously a giant show. But yeah, I just love reading Wikipedia pages. Like if I love something, even a book, but mostly TV shows, if I love them so much, I will like look up every single thing like blogs, conspiracy theories, Tumblr, confessions, like everything I need to know. So it's like very specific based on the show, but that's kind of my obsession goes like I don't like make shrines to them or anything but I just love to know every little fact and detail Jurassic Park is my thing like ask me most things and I'd be able to tell you because I read that Wikipedia page constantly because I just love Jurassic Park six um what is something unusual you know how to do 
So I can write neatly but not holding my pen in the conventional way. I think that would probably be the most unique thing that I do. Um, I'll grab a pen for example right here. So I hold it like this. So that would be like something unusual I know how to do I guess because a lot of people are messy writers and they write like this but I write like that. So I guess that's unconventional that I can do, you know, not too exciting. Um, seven, name something you've made in the last year and show us if you can. So my bulletin board um, behind me, I kind of redesigned it last year and I haven't been doing a lot of projects where I'm making stuff. I used to make a lot of dioramas for school and I used to be in art class and stuff like that, but I feel like I haven't really made anything because I've been so um, focused on school. So I'll get a pan over and like insert a shot of um, what my bulletin board looks like. It's not all of it because I do have some pictures of friends and to keep their anim anim anonymity, anonymity. Um, I'm not going to show those pictures, but I can show you a little bit of what I did. I put a lot of quotes from like Confucius and stuff like that. So here's my like bulletin board. It actually has like, if you can see like Paris and like little things on top. So I have like my calendar, which I put there, which used to be in the middle. I have this like um, chapters, uh, what's it called? Po uh, poster. Um, postcard, which has all the Lego minifigures, which I love Legos. And then I have a few quotes. Um, just a tag from something that I really liked. Um, then I have some pictures of my dog. So we have, and my hamster. So we have Wynn and George, me, and that kind of thing. And the other side's just pictures of me and my friends. So I can't show you that obviously. So eight, what is your most recent personal project? And I'd say my book of poems. Um, I'm actually kind of writing a book of poems right now. And I really want to have 200 poems by the time I finish. Um, so far I don't have too many because I'm just getting back into writing. But between my old stuff and my new stuff, I think I have about 40 pages so far. Um, my old stuff is more of a story type poem, so you know that kind of thing. Nine, tell us something you think about often, maybe while staring out of windows. Um, so basically, my future, I'd say I think about a lot about, I think of like how I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna be doing, um, just imagining different scenarios. I'm a planner, I like to plan ahead, so I like to imagine that and that the better times like not the worrying of the future as much I like to imagine like happier times and like what's gonna happen to me what's gonna happen to my friends my family that kind of thing like think about that 10 give us something that's your favorite but make it something oddly specific not like your favorite food but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and forgot to eat or you know something like so that. my favorite is actually my necklace I hope this does not blind you I'm not wearing it today I'm wearing my other one but I have quite a few necklaces that are engraved with things and this one's actually my favorite right now and like probably forever because of the meaning so I'm trying to so it's just like a silver disc and it has the numbers seven one two five one two zero two six five one four and it makes up like kind of a message and I don't say what the message is like I nobody really knows what the message is like one person basically knows a bit of it but I keep it pretty personal and it's just something that really inspires me and gives it's all different meaning each day so that's one of the things and lastly, say the first thing that pops into my head is actually Gilmore Girls because I have Lauren Graham's book down there and I was just looking down at the floor when I was um, explaining this. So that's the first thing that pops in my head. And basically for tagging, I take anybody who wants to do this um, because right now I am just, I'm in the mood to film, but I'm very tired. I got up very early this morning and I just can't think of who I'd want to tag and who'd want to do this. So if you feel like doing this, go ahead. Um, I tag you and I want to thank you guys so much for watching in the comments below definitely let me know what some of your answers for are if you want to answer these questions or if you related on anything and I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye